promise, promise. I, will I will always, always protect, protect you. you. The reason the I didn't reason tell I you this was to keep you safe, you know that. Yeah, yeah, let's go out and get, get some pizza some sometime. Pizza sometime. That, sounds that sounds really good. Really good. Haven't, had haven't had a good meal in a while. while. Yeah, 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 late, late night, 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 night. You know how it goes. goes. I promise I'll, I'll be there. there. You, know you know when I promise you stuff, I always come through. Does their opinion really matter to you? I mean, come on. You know how great you are. Why do you need them to bring you down? Did you seriously get this for me? I told you not to get anything for me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, thanks. Thanks. Stay, in, stay the car, in the car, okay? okay. Under okay. no Under circumstances can you get out of it. Hey, 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 it's all right. It's all right. It's, all right. it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Calm down. Calm down. Just what are you doing here? Do 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 I told I you to told stay, you stay in the car. car. I'm keep you safe if you're purposely putting yourself doing this right. I told you how to do it, and you're not doing it. I'm seriously wasting everyone's time by doing this. Just stay in the car. Stop Stay getting out, out, out of the car. car. This is all oh, your fault. What did I tell you to do? You never Stay have to. Stay in the damn car. Wake up, damn it. Wake up. Wake up. up. It's, it's all, all your fault. You're going to live with this for the rest, the rest of your, of your life. life. Wake up! <sighs> Jesus Christ. I've been shaking you forever. You've been sh fucking screaming for like... God, I don't know. Jesus, it must have been one hell of a nightmare, are you alright? Nightmares. Sorry. Yeah. Come on, let me help you set up. There you go. Uh, do you want a chair? Oh, you're good there, okay. Yeah, you're sweating. Let me get that. You okay? You've been out for a while, actually. Uh, well, uh, you were kind of in a hurry to get down the fire escape. You slipped on the third to last rung and you hit your head inside of the dumpster. Yeah, you have, or had, a concussion. And I'm not really willing to say it's gone yet. Yeah, you should be fine. You need to be more careful and shit like that. It could have been much worse than it already was. No, no, um... I guess this is the first time you and I are meeting in person. I am the lovely voice in your ear, Songbird. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, right. Um, well, uh, we'll, we'll talk later about all that. Yeah. I'm sure that you're probably still really shaken and everything, so I'm really in no rush to uh, get you pushed out of here yet. No, it, it's okay, really. I. Yeah, I, I understand that you're probably pretty dizzy. Um, Ghost isn't here. Um, listen, we need to get you feeling better before anything else. So, I'll tell you what, why don't we, um, let's get a rag on your head there. No, you don't have a fever or anything, but feels good, right? I mean, you did smack your head pretty hard. Yeah, well, avoid that in the future if you can. It's uh, it's pretty ideal that we avoid any head injuries in this type of work. Especially as a getaway driver. Uh, everything's fine. Um, 
pretty sure it's just a concussion and everything will pick back up pretty soon. I wouldn't worry about your your performance on the last mission if I were you. A compromised mission means you just need to get the hell out of there any way you can, and you did. So, if anything, I would call that a mission success. Look, Ghost isn't here right now, alright? We need to focus on you. Come on, let's, let's get you out of bed. There's some, uh, there's some things that, uh, we need to go over. Okay, so, if the mark for the last mission, it was compromised by a company named Bermuda. Bermuda is, um, a, a company like ours. But they're sort of like our competition. And you know how like McDonald's and Burger King are kind of a competition for each other? Well, it's like that. And not only are we dueling in business, but let's just pretend that we're Burger King and they're McDonald's or vice versa. And one of our fry cooks goes into their shop and tries to assault them while they're flipping burgers. That is considered fair business in our line of work. And uh, Ghost has dealt with that a lot. Still alive. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about Ghost uh, in a bit. I think that we need to get you kind of situated and everything and make sure everything's working. Let, Let's see your eyes, let's see. Uh, pupils aren't as dilated as they were before. How many fingers? Okay. Okay. All right, looks like everything seems to be in order with your eyes. Okay, um, look, you're not going to stop asking until we talk about it, so, um, here, um, uh, here's a, a seat, why don't you, uh, have a seat next to me here. This is, um, uh, this is a box from his locker. And, um, fuck. Um, he has instructed me, uh, a long time ago to give this to you, uh, in, in, in case something were to happen. <clears throat> I, um, I haven't heard from Ghost since before he ran, and people in our line of work, uh, they don't come back after one day. If they're gone for a day, they're, they're gone. Baby bird, you've been asleep for four. If Ghost was alive, we, w we would have heard from him by now, and we haven't. So, uh, Agent Ghost, the one. has been killed in action. And 
I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I've known Ghost for, I knew him for such a long time, and I, uh, I've been through this before. I've, uh, I've lost friends in this. And, um, I knew Ghost more than the others since he started, basically, and I watched him grow up. And he was like a, a little brother to me, and I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I uh, I told him to keep a communication device on him, and he didn't do it, and I... I wanted to help him, like, like navigate a way out, and and he just he just gave the fucking thing to you, and it wasn't a bad move, but I, I'm still mad that I couldn't fucking do anything. So he has instructed me he has instructed me to give you this box of his stuff it's his past assignments it's his his personal belongings and there's a letter in here to you that he wrote probably a few years ago to tell you what he was but he never sent it so all sorts of papers and folders and things like that that belong to him that he would have wanted you to have. Look, baby bird, if, if you want to blame anybody for this, if you want to blame me, I understand. If it would just, if it would make you feel better to blame somebody. No, I, I deserve it because two years ago, he talked to me about quitting for you, and I, I talked him out of it. I just shut the fuck up and let him go. This wouldn't. It's my fault. It's my fault. My best friend's dead, and it's 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 all my fault. There's, there's fuck all I can do about it. And I took him away from you. And you were you were innocent and fuck. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so sorry.
If there's if there's anything that I can I can do to, to help you out with bills or or anything like that, I I will I will do whatever I can. I can't I can't just let this go. I can't just move on and, and, and act like it's the, it's the same bullshit that happens every time this happens. When we lose a guy, we, we, just, we just move on and we just pretend it doesn't happen. And I, I can't do that again. It's, it's different this time. He had a responsibility. He had something to do. He was responsible for something. And he... It's my fault. And listen, just why don't why don't you just get your things and I'll take you home. Just go ahead and go over there and, and get your things out out of the box and and we'll get ready. To... What the fuck is going on? Songbird, do you copy? What the hell is going on out there? We're being infiltrated. Get the civilian and get the hell out of here now. That's an order. Is it Bermuda? Yes, it's Bermuda. Who the hell else would be here? Get out of here and go! Bermuda are the ones that killed Ghost. I'm not letting those motherfuckers get out of here alive. It's not up to you. You know you're being emotional right now. Calm down. Priority one is getting them out of here. You know that's what Ghost would want. <sighs> Hold them off for me. Make sure they don't get in here. Okay, you listen to me. There's only... There's only one way. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my God, they're coming. Okay, listen to me very carefully. There's only one way that you're getting out of here alive. They're gonna take you. And I'm sorry. Calm down. Calm down. They're not gonna kill you. They are not going to kill you. Okay? They're not gonna kill you. They're gonna take you. They need you alive. If they see me, they're gonna kill me. And then you have no way of getting away from wherever they take you. You need me. And the only way I'm gonna live is if I get out of here. Take this, put it in your ear, hide it any way you can, hoodie, hair, I don't care what you need to put over your ear, hide it. I'm gonna need to speak to you. Leave your end on at all times. I need to hear what you're hearing in order to help you. Do you understand? Okay. Leave your side on. I'm gonna help you. And when I talk to you, don't respond to me. Not unless I tell you to. They can't know you're speaking to me. I'm sorry, baby bird. Because they're gonna hurt you. They won't kill you. But they're gonna hurt you. I'm gonna help you. Just give me a bit. I gotta go. Stay calm. Well, this is most unexpected. Of all the people I expected to see in this room. You are probably the lowest on the list. 
considering the amount of security that's been around here for years. I must say, I'm incredibly disappointed in the resistance that has been shown against me today. Ah, but I am not a complainer. I see it as an opportunity, Lady Luck finally shining herself upon me. Do you know who I am? You may call me Mr. Turner. No, as you can probably tell, that is not my real name. But considering my real name is not important, it has not been for years, I can promise you that is all you need to know about me. Listen, I am aware of how intelligent you are. Therefore, I will give you a chance. Surrender quietly, and I will show no physical resistance. I will show no physical harm to you. I will simply capture you, and we can be on our way. Good. Manners, look at that. Giving your hands up to be cuffed. Admirable. At least you know you are defeated. Come with me. Men, please, escort our guest quietly to transportation. I have so, so much to discuss with them. It disappoints me very much so that you cannot tell us what we need to know. I have been very patient with you. And I don't feel like bloodying you up any more than I already have today. But tomorrow is a new day, and I might be in a different mood. So if I were you, I would very much consider ending this torment. Until we know what to do with you, you may sit in this lovely, abandoned, archaic cell. It is not a five-star hotel by any means. But if you cannot sleep here, you will likely rot and die. Which, of course, has no qualms with me. That way, your death will be off my conscience. If you survive the day, I will see you in the morning for another get to know you activity. Say nothing. If he's still there, cough. Okay. Listen, baby bird, I am so sorry that I brought you into this. I really am. But if there is an ounce of forgiveness in you, when I get you out of this, we can talk about anything that you need. And I will help you with. I will get you away from this. But you need to trust me. I know that you're hurting. I know that you're bloody and you're battered and bruised all over. But if there is even a sliver of life, a tiny fragment of fight in you, Pull yourself out of the dirt and get ready to run for your life. Are you ready? Let's get to work.